What's going on everybody, it's Nick and this is your second stimulus check stimulus package update video for Saturday, December 19th. Now we've got breaking stimulus news, very exciting stimulus news to cover in today's video. But before we do that, I want to briefly invite you to hit that subscribe button below right now and turn the bell notification icon on so you don't miss any of my stimulus package second stimulus check update videos. Now with that out of the way, let's get straight into today's news. Yesterday was the deadline for Congress to pass a spending bill to avoid another government shutdown. Lawmakers had originally planned to attach the next stimulus plan to the government spending bill and then pass them both together. Last night, however, Congress passed a two-day temporary spending bill so they can try to put the final finishing touches on the $900 billion stimulus package that they have been working on since the beginning of this month. Now, you might be wondering, what is taking so long? What is the holdup here? Well, according to the New York Times yesterday, negotiations over the $900 billion proposal were snagged by a Republican attempt to curb the Federal Reserve's emergency lending powers. So just when it looked like we were about to get a bipartisan stimulus deal, the Times reports that Republican Senator from Pennsylvania, Patrick Toomey, threw a wrench into things by suddenly demanding that the relief package include a provision that would bar President-elect Joe Biden from reviving emergency lending program that would allow struggling state and local governments and medium-sized businesses to borrow money. Now, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that Senator Toomey is not a huge fan of another stimulus package and certainly is not a huge fan of sending out a second round of stimulus checks. So what exactly will this new stimulus package include if it's able to be passed in Congress? Well, most sources, including CNET.com, say that it will include a second stimulus check to Americans in the amount of either $600 or $700. So what exactly will this next stimulus package include if Congress is able to push it through over the next few days? Well, according to most sources, it will include a second round of stimulus checks to Americans in the amount of either $600 or $700 per individual and dependent. So that is good news for Americans who were worried that we might not be seeing a second stimulus check in this next package. CNET.com also reports that the stimulus package will include $300 weekly federal unemployment checks for out of work Americans for 10 to 16 weeks in addition to that second stimulus check. So if you watched my last video, you knew that Senators Bernie Sanders and Josh Hawley have formed an unlikely alliance to push for a second round of stimulus checks for Americans. Yesterday, Senator Sanders had this to say. Uh, Mr. President, last week uh, I indicated that it would be unacceptable uh, for the Senate to recess for the Christmas holidays without providing substantial direct payments to the working families of our country and to their children. Uh, Majority Leader McConnell and I uh, do not agree on much, uh, but as I understand it, uh, we are in agreement on at least one point, and that is that the Senate cannot go home until a COVID emergency relief bill is passed. Uh, the fact that the majority leader intends to keep the Senate in session uh, this weekend uh, to continue work on the COVID relief package is the correct decision. Uh, but let me at this time be as clear as I can be. Uh, Senator Josh Hawley, a Republican from Missouri, and I have been working uh, together uh, to make certain that the working families of this country uh, have uh, a direct payment of $1,200 for adults and $2,400 for couples and $500 for each of their children. And let me also be absolutely clear that I will object to any attempt by the Senate to pass an omnibus appropriations bill and leave town before passing a COVID relief bill with, uh, with uh, substantial direct payments going to working people. The truth is that the working families of this country today uh, are probably in worse economic condition than at any time uh, since the Great Depression. Millions of people are unable to pay their rent and they're worried about being evicted. Hunger is literally at an 
highest level that it has been in several decades. And in the midst of this terrible, terrible pandemic, we got tens of millions of people who cannot afford to go to a doctor. That is unacceptable. So uh, I would say to my colleagues, let us get this package passed. Uh, let's make certain that we have direct payments to working families uh, of this country. Uh, and with that, Mr. President, I would withdraw uh, my objection. Sanders and Hawley were unable to convince the Senate to vote on a standalone bill that would have sent $1,200 in a second stimulus check to individuals and $500 to children on Friday. Senator Hawley had this to say to his colleagues. Senator from Missouri. Mr. President, I, I thank the uh, Senator Wisconsin for uh, his perspective, which I always appreciate. And of course, I uh, appreciate working with Senator Johnson on, on so many issues. On this issue, though, I'm afraid we just are going to have to differ. And I just want to say this. Nothing could be more targeted. No relief could be more important than relief for working people. Oh, well, the Senator's right. This body has spent trillions of dollars this year alone on COVID relief. We're getting ready to spend, apparently, another trillion dollars more. And yet, working people are told they may be last, if they get relief at all. I don't think the American people understand that. I know people in Missouri don't understand it. And I just urge members of these bodies, go home and try explaining that to the people of your state. Go ahead. Just try. Try telling them why this body can bail out the banks. We bailed out the banks to such a tune that now they've got money left over. Now we're going to take money back because we spent so much on Wall Street and the banks in the first part of this year. That's right. In fact, now I understand that my Democrat colleagues don't want to shut down all of the bank money because who knows what we might be able to do with that in the future. Oh, they're fine. They're more than fine. They're doing great. Now Wall Street is doing great. Big tech, they're doing great. The big multinational corporations, fantastic. Working people, working people are living in their cars. Working people can't go to the doctor. Working people can't pay their rent. Working people can't feed their children. They should be first, Mr. President, not last. And it is no answer for this body to tell them, go get in an unemployment line. Really? That's the response? Go get in an unemployment line. Now, the working people of this country, frankly, deserve better. They deserve to be the top priority, just like they have made this country the top priority in their lives and their families. This is not the end of this fight, Mr. President. I'm here right now on this floor. Senator Sanders will be back in a matter of hours to ask again for the same measure again. Will Congress be able to put the finishing touches on that stimulus package this weekend and get it passed before Christmas? Only time will tell, but make sure to hit that subscribe button below if you have not done so already and turn the bell notification icon on so you don't miss any breaking stimulus update videos from this channel. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a like. And as always, thank you for watching.